Hey everybody, welcome to our channel. My name is Glenn, Senior Stock Market Strategist for VectorVest. Glad that you're here. Folks, recently, lately, you guys have been all over watching all of our videos. Thank you so much, bringing so many new eyeballs to the channel. Thank you so much for doing that. Today's video, I checked all over YouTube, saw some videos, but not enough in regards to what's getting ready to happen today. Yes, I record the Friday videos on Thursday for you. Um, so as of 5.30 today, Thursday, the lunar lander should be landing on the moon, which is historic. First time since the lunar landing back over 50 years ago, or about 50 years ago, where we've had any vehicle on the moon. This is historical. And I like this stock, LUNR, strictly because of the fanfare behind this. This is like the space race all over again, sort of, kind of, having something on the moon that can move around, look around, see what's around, and all that kind of stuff. So right now, I am hot on lunar, and I'm going to explain to you why. Here we are, intuitive machine rockets 40% after the lunar landing successfully was en route to the moon. That was a few days ago. That was on February 15th. The stock shot up. A lot of people feel the same energy behind the idea of having put something on the moon. Then after it, it fell back. That made sense because people were taking profits off the table. But I still think that the stock has a lot of upside. How much upside? Ooh, dare I say the stock goes from $10 where it's trading at right now to maybe $100? That's a big leap. I actually know that, but I'm going to show you from a technical perspective why I feel that way. Now, here it is. There's a moon landing scheduled for today on Thursday. Watch this stock while watching the event. Now, I will let you know, I always like to be upfront and honest. I did pick up some of the stock after the pullback. I think that the stock has a lot of upside potential. A lot of people got out of it, took their profits, and I think that the stock is ready to surge again. So from that perspective, let's get into the VectorVest software. Here we are looking at the stock. Now, I told you that this was more of a fanfare play, more of a technical play at this specific time because it's going to the moon. We're going to have a vehicle on the moon. So I'm looking at the price trading at $9.83 with a value of 27 cents. For all intents and purposes, looking at the VectorVest system, the VectorVest system says probably you should stay away from the stock. Why? Relative value. Way is right at zero pretty much. Relative safety below one. But here's the fanfare. The stock is currently in an uptrend and in a big uptrend by way of VST. It is above one for all the round uh, looking at the stock, but that's because relative timing is up there. Uh, the stock is a hold. Uh, it's got negative earnings growth rate. So fundamentally, I don't like the stock, but I think that putting a lunar lander on the moon is huge. All right. Now, let's go beyond the non fundamental stuff. And again, this stock is going to probably be for the more aggressive person. I wouldn't put all my money into this stock to try to get rich quick overnight. No. Do I think that the stock has the upside potential to 10 times? Yes. Yes, I do. Let's right click on the stock. Let's go view the stock graph. So right now I'm going to look at it from the MPI perspective. All right. Here's the big move. How about we had trigger way back here saying, just wait your time, wait your time. We finally got trend and look at the stock's price go. So it goes to show that people are interested in putting a lunar lander on the moon. All right. There's the jump up, pull back. I'm thinking that's a lot of profit taking. Looking at the recording of the video time right now, it's trying to do a little bit of a rebound. I'm watching the wicks, but I do have trend and I do have trigger and the trigger is really triggering right now. Now, because the stock is moving up the way that it is, all right, I'm going to show you something else. I'm going to show you a graphing pattern that Ryan brought up to your attention on the channel called Star Search. It's looking at bowling and bands to create three lanes, like a three lane highway. We've got the fast lane. Look at that. Stayed, stayed, stayed. Notice that even on the pullback, the stock stayed in the fast lane. I like that. Here's the middle lane, and of course, here's the slow lane. I'm looking at DPOs, both DPOs, the 20 and the nine are really moving up. They took a hit after the stock's price went down, but now moving up all over again. From a technical standpoint, I like this. From a fanfare standpoint, I like this. From a historical standpoint, I like this, but I like the move. 
uh, in the fast lane, staying in the fast lane, and stayed in the fast lane even as the stock's price pulled back down. That is a bullish sign. So I think a lot of good things about it from a technical standpoint. If you're looking for a fundamentally sound stock to hold for the long term, this is probably not it. But what if it builds itself into that kind of situation and you got in early enough where the stock's price is trading around $10? So this is a stock on my radar going to the moon, literally. I, there's a lot of talk about, hey, going to the moon. This is really going to the moon. And I think that this could be a great play that not a ton of people are talking about. That could put a lot of money in your pocket, but it is more of a speculative, aggressive play. If that's not your deal, stay away from this. But for those of you looking for those aggressive fish, I think that this fits the bill just right. Let me know what you think about this stock. Is it something that you would buy? Is it something you would stay away from? Uh, let me know in the chat. If you're brand new to the channel, you want to keep on top of all of the buzz that's going on in the market, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon to be alerted. If you like the content, don't forget to hit the like button as well. Folks, this video is over. Until then, next time, see ya. Good day to everyone out there in VV Nation. My name is Jerry D'Ambrosio, Manager of Educational Content, and I would like to invite you to join me at the upcoming VectorVest International User Group Forum. We'll be broadcasting live on the VectorVest YouTube channel on Saturday, March 2nd, 2024 at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. I'll be joined by Rick Franklin, Canadian consultant, and our keynote presenter will be none other than Susan Hayes Culleton, Managing Director of VectorVest Europe. So join us for a global market review, trade ideas, and a fantastic keynote presentation titled Taking the Pulse on This Week's Earnings. We look forward to seeing you there.